Hello and welcome to my step-by-step -step video on how to configure SecurePrint Advanced. Now, please give yourself about 20 to 30 minutes to be able to do this if you have the correct environment set up. If you don't, then you'll need a little bit longer. Let's take a look at the requirements. First of all, you're going to need a SecurePrint Advanced enabled Brother device. Now, if it isn't enabled, then you'll need to purchase a license from your nearest reseller. If you're not sure who to contact, then you can reach out to Brother, your local Brother sales office, and we can try to help put you in touch with somebody. Once you have the license, then you'll need to activate Secure Print Advanced on the Brother device. For help on how to do this, please refer to another video of ours. A link to this video is on the screen, as well as in the description. Once you have a device with Secure Print Advanced enabled, then you're going to need to download the Brother Secure Print Advanced printer driver. Before you install it, you'll need a computer, ideally a server, and on that you'll need to create a shared Windows folder. Once you've done this, then we'll need to connect the driver to the shared Windows folder and then configure the Brother device. In my environment, I have a Brother Color MFC with Secure Print Advanced already enabled. I then have Windows Server 2022, which I've set up as a domain controller with a couple of users. On this domain controller, I'm going to create a shared folder. And there I'm going to download and install the Secure Print Advanced printer driver. I will then give the Brother device access to this shared folder. The user that's going to be, I will be logging into the domain controller and managing the permissions for the shared folder is Brother Admin. I will then show you how we can share that printer driver using a brother user, a standard user this time, to that Secure Print Advanced printer driver. Let's do each of these step by step. So I've got a Windows Server 202012 domain controller, and on it, I'm gonna create a shared folder. Let's do that right now. Here we go. I am going to go to C, uh, right click and create a folder called SPA. I now need to share this folder. Right click, properties, sharing and share. And I only want to share this with brother admin. Oops. There we go. And this needs read and write access. And I will remove the other administrator. This one I can't because it's the owner and share. And this now is the network path. I'm now going to go into advanced sharing as well and just apply those same permissions. So everybody I will remove as well as administrators. And I'm just going to add the brother admin user because that's the only user that should be able to access the shared folder. Of course, for security reasons, we don't want regular users being able to access it and then capture everybody's print jobs. After all, we are going to be printing to a shared network folder. So we need to make sure it is secure. Perfect. So this is my network path and I'll just keep it open for now. So let's take a look. I'm now going to have to download um, and install the secure print advanced printer driver. And I can do this by going to our support website. 
at support.brother.com. I will search for my product and I know it's the 9670 and search downloads. I'm using server 2022, which I'll be able to share with other versions of Windows. And here's the Brother Secure Print Advanced Installer. I'll agree to the end user license agreement and allow it to download. And here it is. I shall now go ahead and install it. Select the language. Again, I'll agree to this. This is going to be the name of the print queue. And my shared folder is SPA. Now you may think to put the share path into here, but when we're installing the driver, we don't. We need to put the actual network, sorry, the actual folder with C colon slash or whatever the drive letter is, and then the name of the folder, not the network path. We'll go to next. It's asking me if I want to install this optional pull print job delete tool, which allows me to then go in and delete jobs. I think I will click next. And then we'll allow this to, to install. Perfect. So let's just close this and take a look at that driver. So I'm going to go to print management, print servers and printers. And there is the pull print driver. And this also needs to be shared, but it should be shared. Uh, sorry, sharing. Yeah, perfect. This is the share name. So that part is now set up. Let's take a look at the next part of the installer, uh, the process. I'm now going to connect my brother device to this shared folder. So now what I will do is remotely connect to the device's internal web server. Open secure login. Now I'm going to get this security warning message, but I know I'm connecting to a brother machine that's on my internal network, so I trust it. and go down to administrator and network profile. This is the section where I need to specify this network path. So I shall just copy this now into my clipboard. I need to change FTP to network and submit. The name is SPA. Remember as well that we're configuring profile one. This is the path. I'll leave authentication method. The user that has access to the share folder is a brother admin and my domain is EU. So it's EU slash brother hyphen admin. And now I'll put the password in as well. Scroll down, click submit. And I do recommend as well that we do test this to see if the settings are OK, which they are fantastic. If they're not, then just check the path of the network folder, the username, the password. Also check the date and time of the brother device because they do need to match the server's date and time. Now that we have done this, we go to restriction management and I'm going to use secure function lock uh, in this demo. You can use Active Directory authentication, but I'll use secure function lock and click submit. Um, go to secure function lock here. And what I need to do is ensure storage PC print is on. You may see print queue location and two options, one internal and one network. 
You'll only see two options if you have Secure Print Advanced and Secure Print Plus enabled. Chances are you probably don't. So you should just see network. If you see internal, it means you haven't got the Secure Print Advanced license, you've got the Plus license. So you have to see network and have it selected. And then show select job is on. Now what we need to do is configure the brother device to recognize who is printing what. And to do this, we need to add the users into the brother device's database. There is up to um, users, 200 users that we can add. And I'm just going to add two. And these two users are part of my Active Directory database. So let's go to Active Directory. And I have brother user and brother admin. And they need to be expressed or shown uh, like this. So brother user, that's the username. So that's what I'm going to add into here. And I do know that the admin is written here. Now, optionally, you can add some restrictions to the device, meaning that unless you are one of these two users, you could prevent the machine from doing anything. In other words, anybody who isn't this brother user user or an admin cannot actually make a print or a copy or a scan. Also, we can apply restrictions to these users as well. But since this is a Secure Print Advanced video, I'll just leave these things as default. I'll scroll down and click Submit. We now need to generate a pin for these two users, which we do down here. So in User Restricted Functions, I've got Brother User and Brother Admin. And I need to just type the same name over here. So Brother User and brother hyphen admin. I will put in a password, which you will find out later. It's very secure. I can also do some scan to email addresses as well, but I haven't got this set up. I can also assign an NFC card to these profiles. So they don't have to enter this pin in order to be able to authenticate to the brother device. I'll show you how to do that at some point in this video. Scroll down and then click Submit. Perfect. Now there's one last thing we need to do. We've already configured the brother device to talk to this network folder. However, we've not actually configured this function here called secure function lock to communicate with that folder. So to do this, we go down to stored print jobs and then select profile one. Remember earlier on, I said, remember profile one because that's where we're here. And then press the submit button. Okay, the brother device configuration is ready. So now, I've got the brother admin user and I can test with the brother admin user that things are working the way they should be. So if we go to remote panel, now this is because I'm showing you this in a video, it's going to be a bit more difficult for me to point a video camera at the brother device. So instead I'm going to give a shout to another feature that we have called Remote Panel. And it's yet another brother product upgrade. Again, that you can purchase from one of your brother partners. So we'll click public, change user. And then we have those two users. And I'm logged in at the moment as brother admin. Now my password was very, very secure. Two, 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 two. Now I'm logged into the machine, 
but I haven't printed anything yet. So let me sign out again. But this time, this is where I can register a NFC card. So I have register card over here. So if I press register card, now you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to walk up to the brother machine and just tap this against the reader. You can see now that I have registered my brother NFC, sorry, my NFC card. Now I'll just sign out again. Go public. Okay, so now we've actually managed to get this set up and we can see that the brother device is now using the admin user to connect. What I'd like to now do is show you this Windows 11 laptop using a different user. So this isn't an administrator. The administrator has access to this shared folder, but the user doesn't. The user only has access to the shared driver. And then what we'll do is share that driver with this laptop, and then we'll try to print something. So here is the Windows 11 computer. I'm just going to open up a window and connect to the device's IP address that has that shared driver. Now you'll notice that I can see the SPA folder. And of course, I shouldn't be able to access it. And I can't because as the brother user user, I don't have access to that folder. It's only this driver. So well, I'm going to now connect to the driver and send a print job. So let's go to start and settings, Bluetooth and devices, printers and scanners. And here is the brother pull print driver. We shall print a test page. Excellent. So now if I go back to the server, and what we'll do is change user, um, go to brother user this time. And the pin is even more secure. One, 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 one. I can see that test page. What I can also do is since I am the administrator of this server, I can go to the SPA folder and I can see this job waiting here. Now remember that this user who's logged on to Windows 11 doesn't have access to this folder. Thank you very much for watching.